Do you want to give your dog more mental exercise? In this video, I'm gonna give you five brain exercises to give your dog so that they have a more calm and relaxing day. For the best dog training and product advice, be sure to hit subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I put out a new video every Wednesday. By the way, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Lisa. I've dog sat and trained hundreds and hundreds of dogs and puppies, and I love sharing my advice with all of you. In this video, I'm gonna provide you with five helpful brain exercises to mentally stimulate your dog so that they don't find other ways to entertain themselves like chewing on furniture, chewing on your heels, or just playing with things that they shouldn't be playing with. Number one, any type of chew that will take them a long time to get through. Find something at your holistic local pet store. They will probably have a lot of options, but I love the Himalayan dog chew. The reason why I love the Himalayan dog chews is they seem to taste good. I've never tasted them myself, but my dogs tend to love them. And once they're done chewing it and the piece gets too small, you can actually pop it in the microwave and it'll puff up into this new chew and it becomes this puffy cheese ball that they absolutely love. I also know that antlers are something a lot of pet stores recommend. I found that most dogs aren't that into them. What about this one? No? Of course, there are many types of dogs, so some dogs do like them, but the majority of dogs that I've dog sat for, dog trained for, have not really been too into the antlers compared to the Himalayan shoes. Number two is interactive dog toys. So interactive dog toys include uh, treat dispensing, ball toys, puzzle toys, Kongs, etc. I actually made a whole video on interactive dog toys under $20, and I'll link to it right over here whichever side it shows up on. Number three is agility training. I love agility training because it's really, really fun for both the human and the dog. It not only gives them mental exercise, but it also gets in their physical exercise as well. And they're just super zonked and tired after agility training. If you have a high energy dog, I really, really highly recommend agility training. You can either go to your local Zoom room or just look up agility training on Yelp um, to find one close by. You can also buy mini agility kits on Amazon, but you'll need to kind of stay dedicated to that training. Honestly, I just recommend finding a local agility training center because agility training is very specific. Getting them to learn those weaves is not easy. and You'll want the guidance of a trainer. Number four is any type of new trick that your dog doesn't know yet. When your dog has to learn a new trick, they're using their brain a lot. It's kind of like when we have to study for a final or write an essay, we're getting that kind of brain exercise, using our brains, and then you feel really tired after. Same thing for dogs, when they learn a new trick, they're having to use their brain and it'll mentally stimulate, AKA also mentally make them really, really tired so that they don't destroy your shoes. If you're not sure what trick to teach them, I actually have a party trick training guide I will link to it below. It's some of my favorite party tricks and I'm sure you will love them. They're really, really fun. I call them party tricks because they're not obedience. It's not like um, teaching your dog how to stop barking or teaching your dog to wait, which have more applicable purpose to them. Um, this is more like asking your dog to crawl for fun, which is why it's called a party trick, because at a party, you can kind of show off and be like, look what my dog can do, isn't this pretty cool? Number five is walking in a new environment. What this means is maybe taking a new route, maybe taking them on a hike, taking them to a new park. Anytime there's newer smells around or newer environments for them to check out, it mentally stimulates them. If you're taking the same route every day on your walk, they get used to all of the smells, they get used to kind of the environment, and it's no longer as mentally stimulating. Of course, they're still getting that physical exercise, but they're just not having to think as much. All right, so that's it for today, everyone. Do you have any tips or tricks for mental exercise for your dog? If you do, please leave me a comment below. Let me know, I'd love to hear. Also, if you found this video helpful, type helpful in the comments below. And don't forget to share with all of your puppy and dog loving friends.